Hello and welcome to the WebDevPy channel and in this tutorial we will create a circular loading bars using jQuery Donati plugin and also we will create these counters manually. So let's get started. And firstly let's start with HTML. Firstly we need to make sure that we have a jQuery Slim in JS version connected. Also I have connected already script JS files and styles. Also, I have connected the Poppins fonts. And firstly, let's connect Donati plugin. We can either download it as a file or we can just install it using terminal, using npm install. Here we have our Donati plugin installed. So we can just move it from the dist folder into our JS folder. And once we have installed it and move it to the JS folder, Let's connect it to our document. And now we can start coding our Donati progress bars. So I will create the element we say D Donut 1. And basically now we have two ways of configuring the Donati, depending on how you prefer. So first is HTML data attributes. This way you use data attributes in the DOM. And second is JavaScript initialization. This method uses a JavaScript accessor to initialize and configure Donatis options. So firstly, I will show how to use data attributes. So we need to call data Donati to have access to all attributes. And first attribute that we can add is data value. So we set the length of the progress bar. Let's set it to 70. Also, I will set all general styles to the document. I will set one family poppins. Color of text will be white and margin zero. Also, I will add styles to the progress bar. Margin 40 pixels from top and bottom and auto to make it centered and position relative. So now we have stylized our progress bar and now let's test the next attributes. We can add data radius, but as I have already added the width of the progress bar, so I will skip it. Also, we have such parameters as data round. It defines whether we, we will have a circle edges of a progress bar or not. So if we try to set it to the false, we will have not circle shape of edges. And also we have a bunch of different attributes, but I will start coding JavaScript firstly. And after we will create the first progress bar, we can use these attributes to code the second bar. So let's remove them for now and let's start with JavaScript. So I will use vanilla JavaScript for this. We need to get access to the element ID. And second parameter will be object with all necessary properties so we can set such properties minimum and maximum uh, for our progress bar so i will use minimum zero and maximum 100 value we wanted to set 70 for first progress bar adding zero also we have such parameter we can change the color I will set the different color for the progress bar. So next parameter is send cortex. So it defines from which position we will start the progress bar from top or bottom. So we need to set from top. So if you want the progress bar will go from the right to the left, we just need to set the different parameters for RTL. So it will go from the top, starting from the top and from the right to left. And also we have transition parameter and I will set all 0.2 seconds. And for transition effect, I will use the cubic Bezier animation. So for cubic Bezier animation, we need to define four points. The start point, I will set 0 0.57, second point, third point. And the final point needs to be near one and I will set 0 0.98 and our progress bar will have such effect. After transition effect, there is also a text parameter that we can set by calling the function and for parameter we'll use state value, which will return all object. And here we can get access to all options of set a Donati progress bar. Let's return the value here. 
and now let's add styles to this element as you can see it's inside the span so here we need to add a donut one spawn element it will be position absolute because we need to make it centered inside the progress bar put left 50 percent top as well we we'll use transform translate to make it centered font size will be 40 pixels and also font weight i will set it to 40 so it's regular font weight so now it looks much much nicer but unfortunately current plugin not allows us to have a counter over here so we need to code it manually so let's remove <laughs> this so let's remove this parameter and let's code it manually so we need to add the t block so we need to add a t block inside of progress bar donut let's code it ID donut number and once we have added donut number inside of the donut progress bar we need to get access over here inside the JavaScript file we need to get access let's use jQuery now to get access to the element number element one variable so let's get access by calling donut one and inside of it we have set a donut number and also let's make sure that if we call it correctly this element well, i will add 70 over here let's test it using console log and you can see it's over here that we calling correctly so let's remove it over here i will say separate variable number one equals 70 and let's set counter with zero value And I will use set interval and clear interval methods to make number animated. So let's call arrow function and over here let's add counter plus one. And on each step we will update the element with new value of counter. Counter, counter plus percent. So as you can see, we need to add styles firstly and add conditions on which step we need to stop the interval. And let's add if condition for this. I will set if counter equals number one. So it means it's equals 70. So we will stop the animation. Else we will run the counter and update the value on every step. So as you can see now it works, but we need to add styles. We need to add here, over here, and it's updated. And once we have completed first parameter as a function, we need to add a second parameter as a delay parameter. So let's test. Let's add 10. And you can see that we have a little mismatch, so let's try 12. Now it's much better. And let's keep 14. So our progress bar is ready. We have used for this the JavaScript initialization with all necessary options that we need for this. And now let's create our second progress bar using data attributes. So I will create two element with ID donut 2. And inside of it I will create the div element as we have created for donut number. And to use data attributes, we need to include data donut the attribute firstly. And let's set value to 38. And we need to add styles also to second donut, the same as we have added for first one. For second progress bar, I will set data round value to false, so edges will not be circled. Data padding I will set also to zero. We can also just keep it as it is. The so settings default are padding zero. Let's also keep a violet color for this progress bar. The next option is data thickness. 
I will add value 5. Also, as for first progress bar, I will add data and her top. And also data dear options that allow us set progress bar goes from the right to the left side, RTL. And transition I will make the same as we did for first one. And as a result, we have added all necessary options that we need using data attributes of Donati plugin. And now let's create a counter for second progress bar. For this, I will create number two variable equal 38 value. And also we need to get access to the second number of the second progress bar. And let's call it number element two. And for animation, I will use separate set interval. I will set a variable counter to. And in the same way as we have did for first set interval, I will set if counter two equals number two, the animation will be stopped and else counter two will be increasing and number element two will be updated on each step. So as you can see it works, we just need to add the styles to this element. I will set id donut2, donut number second. So in this tutorial we have used two separate ways that plugins allows us. The first way is using a vanilla JavaScript. We didn't use the jQuery and we also have used the data attributes to set the second progress bar. And I hope this video was very useful for you. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorials.